you are watching my favorite YouTube channel. Do you remember when watching these trailer reactions was fun? When we used to go to these movies and TV shows in Marvel and think there was something coming from it? Agatha all along represents something that is a bad quality track record of TV shows. They started off hot. I like the first three of them. Some of them were a little bit okay. And then it just started to get to what's the point. Didn't even watch Echo. Agatha all along comes out. Bro, this show is about a witch. I'm not into witchcraft. This show does have special effects, which a witch is going to do, right? Spells, that kind of stuff. I'm into that. I like the action. That should be executed fine in this. But what story can they give me? What is my expectations from trailers? Lately in Marvel, they've been secretive, not telling us everything about the show. Because, you know, we don't want to spoil it. And too much of that has, it has resulted in disinterest. I hope that they can convince me of why I should be spending time, not money, time on this. Is it even worth pirating? Is it even worth being on the Disney Plus? Or will it be pulled the way Willow was pulled from the Star from Lucasfilm? There's levels to this thing. So here we go. Agatha all along. I'm sorry, I got this page right here. Let me sorry to do this, but I have it playing on the wrong microphone. I mean, headphones. There, I fixed it. Start over again. <laughs> She's humming her song. Another beautiful day. Surprised to see you out here, Detective. Jane Doe, found her down here by the water. Cause? Blunt force trauma. Okay. Is this is her prior life? She's probably the one who did this. What happened to you? Don't tell me she's a good guy. She just misunderstood. I have a lead in the case. But I can't shake this feeling. I'm seeing it wrong. Is this really how you see yourself? Hey. That witch is gone, leaving you trapped in her distorted spell. Aubrey Plaza. Claw your way out. Oh, oh. Oh. This is supposed to make me care about her. Somebody said, be a witch. That's why she was acting I that miss way. the glory days. She took every bit of power I had, but I can beat that witch again. That's like the witch. Well, the gang's all here. Let's hit the road. Wait a minute. The mom it's from that 70s show was here. Here, let's hit the road. I don't recognize who this is. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Whatever her name is, she was part of the WandaVision show also. Interesting. Side note, since I say this stuff all the time, the, the DEI casting. Every time there's a group, it's like something triggers in these studio heads. Oh, my, everyone's white. Okay, we got to get somebody who's not white. And that's like the only time you get stuff. When it comes to who's going to be the lead of our movie... Everyone's white. I'm My point exactly. They think they're doing such a good job at fighting historic exclusion because that woman right there on the left side. Oh, we're not we're not doing a racism, thank God. Bro, of the twelve movies a year Disney is producing, how many of them have a lead role, like the like solo films, not ensemble casts, lead roles, where the budget is over $100 million and the person has melanin in their skin to that extent. When you do that, I'll be impressed. But these groups are not impressing me at all. And if it fools you, wake up. I'm going to walk the witch's road. The road is a death wish. Join me. What was that? They were just using their powers just there. Uh, there's four of them firing at something. But it looks like a good energy, like they're trying to revive somebody. No Wanda so far. Which in her right mind would join Agatha Harkness's coven? <gasps> Not looking for right-minded witches as it happens. <laughs> See how that helped the actor. Where's the audience? Sweetheart, 
You okay? Oh my god! Whoa! What's she doing? Where's she going? Two episodes on September 18. If we're getting two episodes on September 18, maybe that means the finale would be Halloween, wouldn't it? If I do the math right? No, that's not right. So this show, you know, it's just another show about Agatha Harkness. Another, sh- it's done. It's just another show. It's about Agatha Harkness. And budget went to this rather than other things like you know actual superheroes in Marvel. You know, Monica Rambeau was part of that one division show. She's not getting featured in anything. I would love for her to get a movie, of course. I'm not saying I'd settle for the TV show, but that she's not even getting a TV show. How, who left one division going? The character we need to do is Agatha. Who left One Division thinking that? I left One Division going. One does the main character. Man, we could have used Doctor Strange to show up there because you know this is a joint attached universe where things like that would have drawn his attention, and he should be here. And when I heard Kevin Feige say that we didn't want to do it because oh, here comes the white male to save the day. I just, bro, you you can't go. Eight episodes with Wanda, and then finally Doctor Strange shows up at the end. You don't think people are going to be like, yeah, Doctor Strange is here. This is great. It still doesn't undo the eight episodes of the show, which was featured in Wanda. Like, it doesn't undo that. And she and he could be assisting. He could say, all right, you take the lead, Wanda, but I'm here if you need me. Like, There's so many ways you could have done this to not, I don't know. They don't understand what a white male is. They think like white male is bad. Their understanding of representation is wacko. They need help. They need to watch more YouTube videos like this one. I don't know why I'm over there. Let's get back to this Agatha show. Yeah, it should have been a lot of other characters that were part of WandaVision. Like Elizabeth Olsen getting signed to do a season two. Like Vision getting signed to do a season two. I can think of many other reasons to kind of spin off of this WandaVision thing that don't have to do with Agatha Harkness. Agatha is a supporting character. Now, Marvel thinks they're so hot when they made this show, like, by the way, three years ago is when they decided. But so three years ago at that time, they thought we can do anything. We just slap the word Marvel on it. And that and we can. Well, the last three years of box office returns that are terrible. Of media and criticism, critic scores being low. Conversation and enthusiasm with the brand getting low. They're stuck with this show, which they decided to do a long time ago when they were uh, when they thought anything could float. When they thought Black Panther 2, that's an easy billion dollar movie. That's where the studio is. And now we just got to wait and watch this. And then we got to live through Wonder Man, which they also decided way back then that Wonder Man is going to happen. That's where we are in Marvel. That's where the fandom is, at least with me. That's where I am. Uh, I'm not alone. There's a lot of people who think the way I'm thinking. Many of you have already clicked thumbs up like 10 times ago, 10 points ago, because yeah, Chillmonger spitting. This is really what the, the, where the brand is. The Agatha show, from what I just watched, a show about Agatha, no cameos of sort of the other characters. Um, why? Why do I gotta tune in? And I've heard, I've heard so many interviews, so many directors, screenwriters get told from the executives, from Kevin Feige. Where the hat at? Oh, the hat, the hat is like right, right there. They've been no, we're we're doing it. <laughs> Okay. Listen, we'll handle some of that connectivity stuff. You guys don't need to know anything about what's going to happen the next time that this character appears. Just do the story and keep it Marvel Spotlight. Keep it all contained in this TV show that we, we've we let you do. Keep it all contained into this movie. We'll worry about what happens to the character. How the hell do you have character development if the guy who's doing this show doesn't know what where his character is going to be. Maybe it would be really cool if he's like, okay, I'm going to make the character fail, fail, and fail, and then it'll be extra special when the character does succeed in the movie, huh? We'll build up to it. How are you doing that? What's the point of an attached universe if you're not letting those screenwriters, because of secrets, you're not letting the directors know what happens next? I'll take off my hat when I, when I speak. Idiocy. So I'm not into this. They didn't sell me on this show. It did look good. Um, they've had plenty of time to work on some of the, I don't know, VFX kind of special stuff. So that, that was all right. Agatha Harkness. Agatha all along. They changed the name so many times. Agatha all along. 
on a scale of 1 to 10, what's your enthusiasm? That's a question. Comment section. Let's get down there and start reflecting. And if you don't... If you don't want to leave a comment, watch this video right up here. Thanks.